Dear colleagues, this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis and small people. The patient is on eyed and I don't want to take any risk in this case. I want to use a people expansion device. And the people expansion device I like very much is BHEX. BHEX is Vortachergy hexagonal. It's a versatile people expansion device and the people takes hexagonal shape after its application. I've taken up this case for surgery. By this time, all the incisions have been made. Now the capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye. Little bit of dye has been injected underneath the iris. Now this is a bit of adrenaline. I want to see if the people dilates. And after washing the dye out, I can see that the people has not dilated. Adrenaline has no effect in this case. So I have decided to use BHEX people expansion device and I have already asked for it. Now the antechamber is underfilled and little bit of MISCO is injected underneath the iris to make some room for the flanges to be tucked. This is the VHEX. I place it near the main incision and the whole thing should go into the antechamber and the leading flange is tucked at on go. Now I go through the side port. The forceps being used is 23 gauze crocodile forceps. This is uh, recommended by Dr. Subhan Vattacharji. The manipulator that was being used earlier has been discontinued. So the alternate flanges have been tucked underneath the iris and the people has taken this beautiful hexagonal shape. Now I'm doing capsulorexis. The anti-capsule is incised. And now I take uterta forceps and along the margin of this hexagonal paper, I go all along and do this beautiful rexis. Now I do hydro dissection. After hydro dissection, the nucleus is tapped posteriorly and it is rotated. And now some more viscoelastic substance is injected into the antechamber. The tip of the FACO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. And now I'm going to do direct chow. Nowadays, I don't make any trench. Just bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, hold the nucleus very firmly, and chop it like this. I find it so simple and so easy to chop this nucleus that I no longer make a trench. In this case, as I chop, each nuclear fragment is being emulsified at that very moment. Like this. Chop it, make this nuclear fragment free and emulsify the piece. Go to the next bigger piece, chop it, emulsify. FACO power used in this case is 65%. Flow rate is 
45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury this is Oatly Caterx 3 vacuum machine this is the last portion of the nucleus and this is the epinucleus and see the followability all the nuclear pieces all the fragments have been removed lot of cortex is there what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject viscoelastic substance and I'll use I'll use Simco cannula to remove the cortical matter and now after removing the cortex from the inferior aspect say from 2 o'clock to 10 o'clock I'm going to use the bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the sub incisional cortex that's it now I'm going to use the irrigating forces irrigating probe to do hydro polish polishing with jet of fluid this is a very nice way of polishing the posterior capsule and now I inject viscoelastic substance and in this case I'm going to use a monofocal intraocular lens from about it is technis single piece technis one intraocular lens now I am going to dial the lens and place it in such a way that the haptics are in horizontal position and now the viscoelastic substance is to be removed but before that we have to remove this B hex people expander the flanges are untucked and it is just pulled out see how easy it is to remove the B hex people expander now I'm going to uh, remove the viscoelastic substance there are some pigment dispersion and all those pigments have been aspirated by Simcoe cannula <coughs> and now the after thorough removal of the viscoelastic substance what I do is I hydrate the side ports so that these wounds become watertight After hydrating the side ports, final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. Anterior chamber is formed nicely with BSS and the case is concluded. See how beautiful the people is at the conclusion of surgery. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will encourage you to use people expansion devices in small peoples